Hello everyone, this is Sanjay sir and welcome to the Edexcel Ordinary Level video series. In today's video, we will be discussing about the graphic software, the practical part of the Edexcel syllabus, the graphic software and in this video, we will be discussing about vector graphics and bitmap graphics. We know that bitmap graphics are made up of small elements or small boxes called pixels and vector graphics are made up of straight and curved lines. So we will now see the difference between these two in different softwares. Now look at this picture. In this picture you can see that it is made up of several colors and this is a bitmap image. In this bitmap image we know bitmap images are made up of pixels. So if I zoom into this picture I can see that this picture is made up of small squares. Now these squares are called a pixel. You can clearly see that each of this pixel has only one color. One pixel can be of one color only. So all these pixels together will make up this picture. Now bitmap images have different qualities. Now look at this picture and this picture. They are almost the same size. Both of them are of the same size but the first picture is much more clearer than the second picture. You can see first one is clear the second one looks a little bit blurred. This is because of the size of the pixel. When talking about the quality of bitmap images, we talk about the size of the pixel which it is made up of. Now this picture is made up of smaller pixels and this picture is made of larger pixels. If I say this picture has a size of 10 by 5 inches and this also has the same size that is 10 by 5 inches. Why would this be more clearer than this? If I count the number of pixels that are there in one row of this picture and the number of pixels that I find in this column of the picture, it will be much more than this picture. That is because the size of the pixel is very much smaller. So if I multiply the number of pixels horizontally and the number of pixels that you find vertically, I will find the amount of pixels, the total amount of pixels that is there in this particular picture. That is called the resolution of a picture. So if the resolution is higher, the quality will be higher. If the resolution is lower, the quality will be lower. Let's see how this picture looks like when we zoom into the eye of this child. Now when I zoom into the eye of this child in this picture, you can see the size of each of these pixels and when I do the same thing with this picture, You can see that the size of these pixels are much larger than these pixels. So this gives me a clear image and this one will be a little bit blurred when compared to the other picture. So when I am zooming in, if the pixels are getting visible, we say that the picture is pixelating. When I zoom in or when I increase the size of the bitmap image, the size of the pixel 
will get increased so when zooming in if the pixels are getting visible we say that the picture is getting pixelated when zoomed in or when enlarged now let's look at a vector image now this is a software that you use to create vector images this is called coral draw and in this i have two pictures of huskies at a glance if you see they both look alike of the same quality and when i look at it it doesn't show me any difference but one of these is a bitmap image and the other one is a vector image now to see the difference between a vector and a bitmap image we have to zoom into it and see now let's zoom into the first picture i zoomed here still it is very clear yes now as i zoom further you can see that this picture is getting blurred that is because they are made up of very very small pixels i couldn't see the pixels but still it was getting blurred now let's zoom into this picture however much i zoom this picture doesn't lose its quality that is because they are made up of curved and straight lines they are vector images so vector images are not going to lose their quality as you zoom into it whereas bitmap images will lose their quality when you zoom into them now let's see why these pictures are getting blurred or the bitmap images are getting blurred when you zoom in now let's imagine that i have a picture which is made up of 10 pixels by 5 pixels 10 by 5 pixels and it is the size of this so a 10 by 5 pixels like you can see clearly see the pixels here and i have another image which is created by using 50 into 30 pixels so the resolution of the second picture is a little bit more In both these pictures the size of the picture will be the same but still the quality will be more in this than in this because we have more pixels here even though we have more pixels you can see that when i enlarge this picture now the size of the pixel is also getting enlarged now the pixels are more visible than how it looked like when it was smaller that means when you enlarge a bitmap image the size of the pixels are going to become larger and more visible to the naked eye when you increase the size of bitmap images they are going to lose their quality when you compare the vector images and the bitmap images we can see that bitmap images will lose their quality as they are enlarged but vector images does not lose their quality even if you zoom 100 times or 200 times still the quality of the vector images going to be retained whereas the quality of the bitmap images will fall with these assumptions we might think a vector image is going to take up a larger space in your hard disk but in reality bitmap images are going to take a very large space when compared to vector images this is because of something called a bit depth we'll see in detail what a bit depth is now let's look at this picture each of this cube is going to represent a pixel in a picture If you are looking at a screen from this angle these pixels will be arranged in such a way 
to show you a picture. So when you are looking at this picture, you are actually looking at single pixels which are arranged in a grid to show you an image. But actually, this picture is not made up of just these parts. We know that one pixel is capable of showing you many different colors though it is showing you only one color in the picture it is capable of showing different colors when a bitmap image is stored in your hard disk it will store all the possible colors that a pixel can show when they are storing they are not only storing the picture that is shown to you they are storing the picture that can be shown if the colors are changing. If you see I have shown here the pixel or the bit depth of just one pixel but all of the pixel in the image are going to have their own bit depths. So when storing this image I am not only storing the visible part but also the bit depth. That means I am not storing just this set of pixels I am going to store a whole lot of pixels than what we see on the screen. So to store all of these pixels or the possible colors of pixels we are going to need a very large space in the hard disk. So the, when the number of colors that a pixel, pixel can show increases the size of the image on your hard disk is going to increase. That is why bitmap images occupy a larger space than vector images. Let's see now how we can draw basic shapes using a vector editing tool. I'm using CorelDRAW for this. You can use any other tool that you want. Now this is the toolbox. In this toolbox I'm going to select the rectangle tool and I can just click and drag to draw a rectangle or a square shape. In this shape if you need to fill in any color I'm going to use the pick tool so that I can move it anywhere I want. Keep it there. Now if I left click on one of these colors it will give me the fill color and in this color palette if I right click on one of these colors it will give me the outline color. So we can change the outline color and the fill color separately in vector editing tools. And the outline size if you can see in this the outline size is a little bit small. So if I want to increase it I can go here and select one of the sizes. Now we can clearly see the red color outline in this. Now this is one of the shapes here. Now if I use the pick tool, if I click on the center or anywhere else in this object, the borders arrows will change in this way which means I can rotate this object any way that I want. I will take it back to the original position. Now these arrows at the side are used to skew the image to either side. Either you do skew it horizontally or you can skew it vertically. This is for the square shape. Now you can draw elliptical shape. This same way you can change the colors, fill color and the outline color and this too you can rotate any way you want and resize these images any way we want. Now you can see that the box is behind the circle here. So I am going to take the box in front which is done by going to objects. There yeah, I can see the order it says the front of page to front of layer, front one. 
so i can just take it front one so it will come in front of this so you can arrange the order of the objects that you are using in your vector image so you can create a lot of images by combining these shapes in vector graphics designing tool so we will see how we can combine these shapes basic shapes as well as other shapes using the graphic designing tool and create images that we want in the next video we will also see how to create curved lines using this tool and create different graphics i want you all to practice drawing the shapes and coloring them and try to draw some objects using the collection of different basic shapes and in the next video we will discuss how we can draw all of these vector images to create different logos which will be asked for your examination paper 2 i will see you all in the next video until then this is sanjay sir take care and god bless you